Amazing advertising tips. Number one, tell your audience what kind of support they'll get after they buy. It could be free consulting, tech support, free servicing, or some other service that you offer. This may also answer some of their buying questions ahead of time. People don't want to buy products without knowing that you're going to be there to help them if they have problems. Number two, ask people at the end of your copy why they decided not to buy. This will give you some new ideas on how to produce your ad copy that's more profitable. Have a web form or an email link in place so that they can answer you. You may find out that they don't like your guarantees or your graphics, or it could be anything. Number three, think of ways to get your site or business in the news. You could sponsor a fundraiser, break a world record, hold a major event, or stage some other type of event. Simply write a press release about what you've accomplished and send it to the media outlets that cater to your target audience. Number four, hold a contest on your website. Give other websites the option to offering it to their visitors. This will multiply your advertising all over the internet. It would become a viral contest. Of course, the contest must either be ongoing or held regularly so you could allow other online publishers to offer it to their visitors or subscribers. Number five, tell your potential customers that your ordering system is highly secure. Also reassure them that you take every effort to protect them. People want to feel safe when they're online. They want to know that you care about their well-being. Tell them all about what you currently do for them to make them feel safe and more secure. Number six, carry business cards with you wherever you go. Have your website address printed on them and you can hand them out to everyone you meet. Just think of all the people you meet on a regular basis. Grocery store clerks, post office workers, bag boys, family members, friends, saleswomen, salesmen, etc., etc., etc. Number seven, contact national radio stations and ask them if they're looking for guest speakers. Tell them your area of expertise. Maybe they'll book you for a show. Of course, you'd want to contact targeted stations and shows, which you would want to do more of in your area of expertise. Number nine, Join clubs related to your area of business. You could trade leads with other businesses, learn new ways to run your business, and sell your products. You could also create your own online business club. You could provide private chat rooms, message boards, articles, or other areas of expertise. Number nine, think of a domain name for your website that's easy to remember. It should be related to what your business does, sells, or provides. If there aren't any business names available, use your actual birth name. You could at least brand yourself. You own your name and you can give it credibility. Number 10. Position your website at the top of pay-per-click search engines. You'll only pay your set amount for each click-through you get to your website. Just make sure your profits will pay for your advertising cost. If they don't, maybe you could do a shared website with another related business or split the costs. Number 11. Allow your visitors or customers to increase your traffic or sales. Ask them how they can improve your web business, website, or product. You can ask them at your website, in your easing, on your message board, or in your chat room or guest book. You could also ask them in your product packages. Number 12. Team up with other easings that have the same target audience. Combine subscriber bases and then publish one easing together to increase the subscribers. You could all include your ads and announcements in the easing. You could also take turns for the top advertising space. Number 13, swap endorsement advertisements with other websites. Endorsement ads usually pull more sales and traffic than a regular advertisement. People have taught themselves to ignore advertisements because they see hundreds and thousands of them every single day. Endorsements usually don't look or sound like normal ads. Number 14, outsource part of your workload to save you time and money. You can spend more time and money on promoting your business. You'll save money on employee costs, space costs, and training costs. Keep the work you enjoy doing, and you keep motivated and ship out the work that you don't like doing. Number 15. Include a signature file on all your emails that you send. Provide your business name, phone number, email, and website addresses as well. Also include a a brief blurb about your business or the product that you're selling. For example, you could say, how to wash your car in two minutes or less. Number 16. Use pictures or graphics on your website that support the product you're selling. They can give your visitors a clearer vision of your product, the benefits of the product, people's emotion, and why they should own the product right now. You could also use before and after pictures. 
Number 17. Create a friendly long-term relationship with all your customers. Practice good customer service and follow up with them on a regular basis. You could follow up with gifts, greeting cards, free things, coupons, special offers, reminders, your easing, helpful advice, or any other incentive that you can find. Number 18. Create strategic alliances with other websites. You could exchange banner ads, sell each other's products as back-end products, cross-promote, or any other type of promotion. You could also create a website together and promote it on your separate websites. You could both split the costs and the profits. Increase the perceived value of your product to skyrocket your sales. Add on free bonuses, after-sales services, or an affiliate program. Other factors that would help are your own domain name, a professional web design, a good-looking product graphic, and persuasive ad copy. Number 20. Give customers a discount on their total order to increase the sales. You could give them a discount for ordering over a set dollar or product amount. For example, you could say buy over $39 worth of products and get a 20% discount on your order. Or get a 15% discount if you order three or more products. Number 21. Allow your visitors to reprint the content of your website. Just ask them to include your resource box and a link to your site in exchange. This will turn your content into a traffic machine and the external links will help increase your ranking on some of the search engines. Number 22. Provide a free contest or sweepstakes at your website. It's a fact that people love to win things. If you can fulfill that need, people will visit. You can also attract them to revisit by holding one every week or month. You could also start an opt-in list for people who enter your contest or sweepstakes so you can follow up with them regularly. Number 23. Save time and money by using ad submitters. You'll reach a larger part of your target audience far more quickly than by manually submitting your ad. You should manually submit your ad to the most popular websites so you get a better chance of being listed or placed in a good position. Number 24. Create a good first impression. You'll not be able to sell very many products if your visitors think your website looks unprofessional. Use crisp graphics, attractive color combinations, a readable text size, even spacing, even margins, bold headlines, and indent benefits. Number 25. Stop procrastinating and start finishing all your business tasks. Do one at a time. Don't get caught up thinking that you can never get them all done. Make a list. Do the easiest or most crucial at the first, and then move down your list. Cross off each task as you complete it. Number 26. Develop a relationship with all your visitors and customers. Tell them how much you appreciate them visiting your website or buying your product. Invite them to online and offline events like free chat room classes, parties, dinner gatherings, or business events. Number 27. Hire a business coach to help improve you and your business. That could help increase your sales, motivate you, and balance your workload. It would be like renting an extra brain. You'd have double the thinking power. Number 28. Stay away from being too comfortable with your income or your lifestyle. You should always be making new goals for yourself and developing new sales ideas. The world keeps changing, and if you pause too long, you might miss out. You only live once. Number 29. Make sure you don't become a workaholic. Your mind needs time away from your business life. This will help your brain think clearly while you're working. The best time to get profitable ideas is when you're not thinking about them. They just pop into your head. Number 30. Create and follow short and long-term goals if for your business. The short-term goals can create early success, and the long-term goals will create future success. Design each goal so that they all add up to your ultimate goal. Don't make your goals too unrealistic, otherwise depression and frustration could move you further away from them.